Welcome to Ghana Weekend TV and this is where we give you everything arts and entertainment, you know? Anytime we sit down like this, it is quality entertainment talk. Now, go straight to GhanaWeekend.com and then read all our interesting stories there and also subscribe to Ghana Weekend TV. Now, let's get to action. Ras Caleb, Papa. Ras Apia Caleb Levi is right no, here. No, Ras Caleb Apia Levi. Yes. Apia Levi is my surname. Apia Levi is yeah, your surname. Yeah, there's a, a hyphen between the Apia and the Levi. Tell us who you are. You started, you know, a bit. <laughs> who are you? Media, I know I know that Ras Caleb is one of the biggest reggae musicians we have in this country. But some people may only identify you with music as the uh, uh, Great Accra regional chairman mm. of Musica mm. and you taking Musica to court. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Oh, I am me. <laughs> um, I come from Boso. Boso, okay. Yeah, and um, my father. Okay, and um, and um, Boso. Boso. in the eastern region. Y yeah, we are is in the eastern a, region, but we are in the Volta. Yeah, we are in the Volta. Yeah. Yeah. We speak Guan. Yeah, I know. Yes, I know. Yeah, your 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 brothers and sisters are the ones at Enuma Papim, right? Yes, yes, that's it. Yeah, you know, I bet my mother comes from Ada. Okay. Ada, Alata. Okay. You know, so I'm half cast. <laughs> yes. In short, you are Ghanaian. I'm a Ghanaian. <laughs> yes. I'm a Ghanaian. And that's you why know. you hold the Ghana. Oh, yeah. Flag I, lo you I go. love Ghana. Wow. I love Ghana. Wow. You know, Ghana is older than me uh, about three or four months. Wow. Yeah. You, know. you were 65 yesterday. Yesterday, 26 June. 65? Yeah. You look younger. Yeah. No, that's me. What do you eat? What don't you eat? I think positive. I'm full of love. I check my diet. Wow. Yeah. Do you I, take meat? I take, but not often. Okay. Chicken. Oh, wow. Okay. But not often. Fish. But I love when I eat without fish and meat. Wow. I take my porridge without sugar, without milk. My tea without sugar, without milk. You know, I don't even put butter. This is me. You, you want to leave. That's your body. Yeah. The temple. Yeah. You know, of the Holy Spirit. Now, tell us, when first did you release your first musical work? When was that? Oh, <laughs> I could have released it somewhere in 1984, but ironically, when I identified my mission in the world, I released it in 2016. Okay. Because I realized that I'm not just a musician okay. coming for myself, okay. but rather for others. Okay. And you mean you will not be working for others when you concentrate on yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, because I know the global world. I was a member of Alpha Blondie and the Solar System wow. from 1984. Wow. February 1984 till I came back in 1989. And I and Bibiba back back by me now uh, they back me and they also perform at the jimmy click concert at the crossbow stadium Great. Yeah, that was in 19 march 1989 18th march Great. you know we were there bibiba and i were the only uh, uh artists and group to open the show for jimmy mm -hmm. cliff you know mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. you know then i also i'm the first artist to perform on stage at the panafest 92 at the independent square wow yeah, you know, uh, Mr. Kunu Dake, by then known as John Dake, mm -hmm. yeah. he's a witness of that. And after that, my my manager, who is now the uh, uh, managing editor for Times, Deva Gwedo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, he took me to a festival, Wida Festival in Kutonu, with my band, you know, and uh, for a festival that was in February uh, 1993. Okay. Yes, 93. I've been doing a whole lot of things. Yeah. A whole and packaging a whole lot of people. I Fantastic. love packaging. Yes. Oh, you see, one thing is that most of our musicians or our artists, they don't know the industry. They only know that, oh, this is my craft. Yeah. But they don't know that as you have a craft, you need to have a management team. You need to have your personal manager, the business manager who is supposed to be even having accounts. Exactly. Yeah, background. Exactly. Uh, you need to uh, do what? Uh, have the tour manager, yeah. you know, a whole lot of managers. You need to have contracts, yeah. you know, uh, recording contracts, uh, performance contracts. Contracts. You know, even if you are going to do uh, Kado, you know, free, French say Kado, 
you know, free concept set. There must be a beneficial uh, contract. You know, you need to package yourself, you know. And I've been doing this thing for a lot of people. I was also a consultant for a consultant. Mm. Yes, uh, Mr. No, Professor uh, Joshua Inkululi, uh, formerly known as uh, Edward, uh, uh, Ken Edwards. Okay. He was the UNDP consultant for the state-owned enterprises in 1992. He set up the Ministry of Tourism, as an, uh, the Ministry of Tourism at that time. At that time. By then, it was Ghana Tourist Board. Okay. Uh, you know, and the time he came, uh, Mr. Edwin Ofusi Abua was the executive director. Okay. So my, my, my affiliation with the Ministry of Tourism started when they set it up, you know, and I also became a good friend to uh, Mr. Uh, the Honorable Oroka Mufa, who was then oh, okay. the deputy minister. Yeah. I gave him a package of 72 pages when they were about to go to the Caribbean, especially Jamaica with Rawlings the president at that yeah. time, then Professor uh, Kofi Awono, late, okay. may he so rest in peace, and uh, uh, Dr. T Tony Edu, mm -hmm. you know, and they brought Emancipation Day celebration in 1997. Yeah. So we did the first Emancipation celebration in 1998, and I led most of the Rastas for okay. us to do the Emancipation a concert and fair at the first Sutherland's Park. Fantastic. Uh, of which uh, I, I, uh, we did a presentation to the President Rollins uh, at the National Theatre. So the following day, the graphic center page, wow. you can see me there, you know, presenting to Rollins. Wow. So, in fact, I've been everywhere. You've been around. I'm everywhere. I've been everywhere. <laughs> you know. So, at what time did you become actively involved in musical affairs? Like I said, I joined Musica in June 1982. 82. When I traveled 84. Were, were you active then when you joined? No, I was from, not from active. the beginning. Yeah, I was just ordinary a member. member. Yes, I was just a member, you know. And uh, I, what I realized that Musica had, has a powerful influence. Okay. Why? That was the card I used as a passport to travel. Wow. Yeah, by then my passport was not ready, you know. When I the came, musical card, remember, musical card. card, yes, and even saved me when I was robbed in uh, Lagos in the night at Sulalere, uh, you know, a place called Lawansi. Wow. I, I was taking the Molua, you know, the minibus to go to my uh, where I was at. Uh, I spent three months, okay, you know, uh, at Itire. So when I was about you see, like the bus coming, mm -hmm. then everybody jumping, yeah. you know, trying yeah. to, that mini bus. Then when I was going, I realized that somebody's hand is in my pocket. And a lot of people. So instead of going now, I'm coming back. Before Whoa. I went home, they have stolen my purse. Whoa! One thing is that I was not having no money inside. Inside? The money was rather in my pocket with a sardine. In, in, so they gave, you the, they gave the wallet back to you? So I was standing there watching the people. The next bus came, I was trying. Then I saw four young guys came. I said, Rastaman, are you a musician? Say, yeah. This is your first. <laughs> <laughs> no, then I say, everybody have a job. This is your job. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have to be happy to get my team back yeah. instead of accusing them. Wow. So I know how powerful music guys or wow. musicians are. Uh. So uh, when I came back, uh, I mean, 89. Then, I think 1990, when Parfum was held, mm -hmm. and I was the one who came out to say pro Parfum. So, for, for the benefit of our, our viewers, what, yeah. what is Parfum? Parfum, Pan African Music and Arts Festival. Yeah. You know, yeah. which was held at the Trade Fair site. I okay. Think it was 13 days event. Event. Oh, yeah. That was a scam. <laughs> that was a scam. <laughs> my, my people didn't know that. They, they are happy to, to, to be there to perform. How can you say that Alpha Blondie is coming? Fella is coming. The Jacksons are coming. Fella by plane from Lagos to Accra, 45 minutes. Alpha Blondie from here coming. And none of them came. It's a Pan African music festival. You know, and you go there at the trade fair and they're showing Chinese movies. Wow. At that time. At that time. I said, what is this? 
But people, you know, people are just happy that there's a festival there. But I am a Pan-Africanist. So if you sell a Pan-African idea to me, I will know it. And I know who is a scammer. You understand? So when I came out and I say, pro perform, and one day, uh, after that, actually the media even knew about it, okay. that th th there's a scam. Okay. Because when the spirit sent me to uh, Times, okay. the, uh, this, uh, this man, um, Baba Abdullah, okay. and uh, Sika Adaribo. Okay. When I came, I was talking, they gave me a seat. They were waiting for news. I have that newspaper there. So when that article came, Faisal Hewani saw it. And one day, I went to our office at Kakudi Junction. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, uh, they were having a meeting. You know, so when I read the reception, and the receptionist says, oh, uh, this and Faisal Hewani says, when you come here, anytime you come, I should call it, he's mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. So the conference room. So when I went there, when I opened the door, the first person who saw me was Faisal. Gone about them were there. Gone about them were there. And everybody. Uh, then uh, Faisal said, Everybody stand up for Buck Levi. I said, Wow, could you entreat them? All these big, big nuts. Could you? They had known him since 78. You know, they were all there. I said, Wow. He said, You guys, everybody went to the platform and you, you, you put your tail, you know, <laughs> they, they rub you as so He stood. Then he, he told me, but Levi, these people cannot be pro unless we sue them. Okay. So, Musica then was having two lawyers. Okay. John Davis and Frank Davis. Frank okay. Davis of the MPP now. All right. Yeah, the two of them. The archives that are brought, I keep archived. Graphic and times have chopped my money. Pop, 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 pop. So even at that time, yes, I have them plenty. So you like you like going to court, pa? No, not that I like going to court. <laughs> I like keeping information. Wow, not court. Yeah, I could have been a lawyer. Yeah, because you yeah, know my other brother, lawyer Pia, the late lawyer Pia of Tamale, he's a oh, lawyer. Wow. Yeah. No, so so you let's narrow this down to mm. the whole musical elections, and so in twenty nineteen. Uh, Musica was supposed to have had an, uh, its election. Yes. And then we had oh, Amasu. Amasu. Because the Greater Accra Regional Chairman had taken them to court. <laughs> yes. And I didn't know, yes, sir. Why, why did you no, do that? Music? I, I ran in the mummy, yes, sir. <laughs> God made me do that. Otherwise, God would never make me have information. You can go to court. Are you, are you a litigant? No, I am not. Why, when people want to get things in order, they call them litigants? This is a union I want to lead. I came to lead Greater Accra yeah. with no handing over note, no bank account, no nothing, just a room and my desk and my, my, my chair. And how did you operate? How are you able to handle the association, the union? Because I've been doing it for people. I have okay. an office at home. Okay. Like Siri Gubari also have his private office at home. I have office at home. You know, I'm not the type of person, you know, I have my hall and sitting down. No, I don't chill. So as Greater Accra Musica Chairman, would you say you've been able to achieve all that you intended to achieve? I could not achieve what Within I Within that wanted. period? Yeah, I could not achieve it because I was... How would you rate yourself in terms of percentage? In terms of percentage of the union itself, of, of the Greater Accra Greater Accra, like Musica. I told you, how can I don't register my members, so how can I know them? No, wait. You don't register your members. No, it's not as a chairman of Greater Accra Musica. All the regions, Musica is in ten regions, yes. including Greater Accra. Yes, Kumasi yes. register, Sunyani register, mm -hmm. Tamale register, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bolga Wa, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Takrade, Cape Coast. They all Kofonga, register. They all the register. Members they register at the regional level. Regional level, but the cast have been done in Accra. Good, but in Greater Accra region. National register. Where you are the chairman, you don't register your people. Yes. But the national office, which is based here, does it. Yeah. Why? So how can I be accountable for why? Why, why? why is it that? Yeah, because they have 
certain ill intentions. Is it not to take some burden out of, uh, of, of you? What, what burden? You have al already de decreased my, my, my zeal. If me and my executives, regional executives, are registering people, I will know how to canvas for musicians. Okay. Okay. They are, okay, if I want the gospel artists, I'll go to the churches. Okay. Have meetings with the various church leaders to register their members. Wow. Raz, let's, let's still go to 2019. I'm really? interested in why musical elections were, were cancelled or postponed and why you went to court. And how has okay. that helped the union? It has helped the union. It's cleansing. It's cleansing over the years. What was wrong with Musica then? Okay. Uh, the elections were supposed to happen on the 26th, 26th of June, which yeah. was my birthday. Oh, okay. I would have been 62 then. That, then, that date. So I was happy because 26, when you turn into 62. Okay, okay. You understand? Then during, I went and launched my manifesto in May, mm -hmm. the 21st May or so in Kumasi. Okay. Then I continued with my crew. We were four. One media guy. So he saw everything. Then we went so in Bonga that one of my members sent me a screenshot of somebody uh, who I know that he is in Bessas camp. Said that Mr. Simons. Mr. Simons come. Okay. Who was then the vice first no the first, first vice. vice president of yes. the music guy. Yes. Also contesting Co for the presidency. presidency. Same as you. Same as I in me. Then the person says because I'm very close with my, my members, even yeah. though I don't register them. Okay. Then he said, uh this thing there, what do they call it? Um Mr. Simons, uh, Mr. Simons guy says that, oh, can you, uh, have you make your card? If I test expired, you send it to me, mm -hmm. I will renew it for you free. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. For you free, if you pay for it, it's cool. So I was on guard. So when we return, and the following, uh, what did they call, before, even before, I went on the tour in May. Yeah. In March, I was having, I went to an album lunch. Okay. Just behind Alain Francais. Okay. And I got a call from one of the regions, from an executive. You say, Chairman, you need to register a lot of people to, to contest, I mean, to, to vote for to you. To vote. And so I will look for money. He said, no, 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 no. You don't need money. You just give me the names. Then me to when I get back home the following day, I took the form and everything on the distance. So when I did it, I sent it to them. He said, no, 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 no. Don't bring all their details, mm -hmm. only six details. Okay. You know, don't bring their contact number, so and so, this and that. Then I gave it to the person. Then uh later on the following months or so we came for a program in accra mm -hmm. and the person brought me the cards these are genuine musicians okay you understand yeah yeah genuine musicians but i gave the names and the cards that they did no i didn't pay a dime and i said wow what is happening because they thought mm -hmm. that this thing uh they thought the cards they did are for them okay for people to vote for them so, okay 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 but it came to me that's why the term submarine mm -hmm. i use the term submarine mm -hmm. you know then the elections the 26th i said no i sent um uh, a message to the director of membership all right and uh, I told him that the election date has to be postponed. You know. Why? Because there's a lot of things that is going. The voters register self mm. where they compile at that time and they put it on the WhatsApp platform. Mm -hmm. 
my name appeared in it twice. Oh. Some people's name appeared three times. I, ha I still have them. Wow. Yeah. So I there were mistakes in a the register. Lot, a lot of mistakes. So he said, what should we do? He said, let us postpone it. So they postponed it mm. to the 10th of July. Yeah. Then things are still going on. So on the 1st of July, mm -hmm. I wrote a petition mm -hmm. to address to one, the president of the Musicians Union of Ghana, mm -hmm. who is also the chairman of the National Executive Council. Council. Then two, to the chairperson of the Arbitration and Disciplinary Committee. Committee. I use chairperson because I don't know who. Okay. But the constitution says, if you have to do this, pass through this. The channel. The channel. Then I sent my dispatcher to Musica to deliver it about 3 p.m. that uh, uh, 1st July. Yeah. I didn't hear anything. So two days later, I went to my lawyer, Peter Zwenis, who is a, a longtime friend. And I said, this is what is going on. It's OK. We have to put an injunction on elections. Already, they have made, um, they have written that we should do what? Come for, we the aspirants, should come for, uh, uh, what do they call it, a meeting with the election committee. Okay. Which is also bogus. The election committee were five people. Okay. Smart in Cancer as mm -hmm. the chairman. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Madame Diana Hobson as okay. the secretary, a former president too as a secretary, then Mary Gansa, Trigmatic, then one man from Gamro. But the constitution doesn't say that. They say one person from each region and three from the council or from the neck. Okay. So why is this? I say, oh, it is mean that they want to play prank on. And another thing is that we, are, we were supposed to have the national and the regional elections on the same date at the same time yeah because when we went to kekos in october 2018 we said that every to review the constitution to review and validate the constitution even when they review it they didn't validate it it's after when i went to call the second time that they did that the validation then i said what sort of people am i dealing with these are the people leading us why should we have only national and later on the regional? When we went to Cape Coast and we said that we are doing national and regional yeah. elections, and even that, look at what is happening. Anyway, so, we, okay, so so the register, yes, was it fixed afterwards? Oh, after now we are having problems. Is it still not? It's not normal. All right. It's not normal. Really? It's not normal because, because Bessa, Bessa came here and he said everything was okay. Oh, now, Bessa, Bessa. And that the election committee would meet last week tuesday to set a date Besa, for the elections they paid all the monies and everything Besa, Besa, are you not happy that you are not going to have elections Besa is a bob cole <laughs> are you not happy that you're not going for the elections this kind of scam elections when we have cases in court of forgery are there any cases again oh two cases me, I'm out of court since <laughs> 2021. But no, have you taken them? Have you taken? No, it's not me. The general secretary, Madame Deborah Freeman, has taken taken them who, because who to court? Who? Bessel Simons, the acting president, and the treasurer, Mr. Kofi Ajman. For what offence? For forgery of her signature. Wow, really? Yeah. Okay, because I saw a publication in April stating that they've been charged for. Uh, let me let me read a bit of it um is it first degree felony no let me be so i read this i saw this um publication a few months ago okay and, and i was wondering i want to quickly read okay so here it is um from the uh, the name of the newspaper this is the insight, insight. oh news yeah. online it says uh, Musica Top Guns granted 20,000 bail over allegation of forgery. Uh -huh. And it states that the decision comes after several attempts by lawyers for the accused to argue out their case why they should not be granted bail by the court. The suspects have been charged with second degree felony mm -hmm. and conspiracy to commit crime. What was that? 
So you see, what crime was that? Forging of signatory. On, on, on what? To take money. Money, or to, money belonging to music. Guy. Music. Guy. The money, uh, the, especially the 265,000 Ghana CDs uh, from the receivership company. Okay. Yes. And there's a lot of money that they are not so accountable. Somebody forged somebody's signature or how did it happen? Yeah, somebody forged the, either the acting president or the uh, treasurer. Because if Madame Deborah she, is her signature... She was, okay, so Deborah was a signatory to the account. To accounts of Musica. But, but, but not this account. But she did not sign, sign. for that money. For the because of that if money. she signed it, Deborah is a deep person, a deep minded person. So who signed? Who signed? That's why I think by uh, by Wednesday, the the uh, Wednesday is what twenty ninth. Yes. Yes. By, yes. Yeah. By Wednesday twenty ninth, they are going back to court. Going back to court. Yeah. On this Wednesday. same matter. So yeah. does it mean to, to to I don't know whether it's the verdict because I know that there was there have been a forensic audit. Okay, yeah, because they were supposed to have gone back to court in May. That was, yeah, they uh, went in May. On 25th May. May, and they, they went to court, and they have joined it to the 29th. So does it mean until this case is solved, you can't hold elections? No, no, because Bessa made, it, it made an attempt for us, you know, sending a message that we are going to have elections, and you saw there's a contempt for the court. The Republic, not a PLE by or anybody, versus... Mr. Simon. But some people are saying when it happens like that, things are delaying for music. Uh, Why delay? How can you travel with a faulty vehicle? Will you reach your destination? Won't you cause an accident? Let us cleanse the union to have people, musicians, have confidence in the union for government, uh, the government, uh, diplomatic missions, corporate <laughs> entities, individuals to have confidence in the musicians union of ghana up to now we don't have even any property of our own we don't even own one land so okay so the constitution says that elections should be held in august yes we are in in june in june don't we have more time to prepare for for election in yeah, august you see <laughs> then 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 the leadership of the union have to do the right thing if if you are able to clear the two court issues maybe in the following weeks, can't you still hold elections in we August? We can hold elections when the right things are being okay. done. Okay. What are the right things? Mm -hmm. The acting president yeah. and the national executives, except okay. the welfare officer, okay. Mr. Colan, who is not contesting. Can the electoral commissioner of Ghana, who make voters register, compile a uh, uh, voters card and compile voters register? also contest in an election who are you referring to Bessa simons yes but Bessa is not the uh, the chairman of the election committee oh i'm trying to say okay Bessa, mm -hmm. who makes the card the president okay. of the union okay. whose signature is okay. on the card okay making the card that has caused him this because oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay so he is acting president of Musica, yes. and he's still contesting the president. Yes, so you think that's wrong. It's wrong. You shouldn't have when contested. Your, your, when your time of office has expired, we should have an interim management committee. And that didn't happen. It didn't happen. So should we, we have, go back to that? Yeah, we have to go back to that. We have to go to that before yeah. before we hold the election. Yes, otherwise elections cannot happen. Besa was here. He says people are dragging things. No, 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 no. Besa is says, a dreamer. He's a dreamer. <laughs> he says anybody taking things to court is making things drag. Look, look, look. If somebody takes you to court, yeah, and that person doesn't have a locus or any evidence, can the person go to court? He must disentangle himself. He should show. If he and the the moment the national executives step down all the regional executives will also step down when you cut ahead the body are all gone so that we have interim management committee to conduct the elections and we say oh music has come of age transparency accountability there's no transparency and accountability in the union no is, is mr simon's music's problem yes he is
a boy is behind it too. <laughs> oh yeah. You mean you mean the past president, former president? Oh, of war. he did everything. Me, I know. Now, boss of Ghana my Post. son of war, my former boss. He, he said he's behind what? What is happening? But he's no longer with you. No. Guys. No. How is he behind it? What does Can he you do? see God? No. Uh -huh. So he's the God <laughs> of music. <laughs> Never. Now his office is also close to Bizga office, <laughs> and he has never come. I don't know why I'm laughing. Oh, laugh. you have to laugh. It's, it's, it's like a comedy, guys. This is interesting, but it's is a that... very serious issue. Oh, yes. issues, very serious Look. issues. You know, they've postponed elections for how many times? Like four times already. Yes, because everything is not right with Musica. Guys, we will continue, but make sure uh, you read our stories on GhanaWeekend.com. <laughs> Subscribe to Ghana Weekend TV. I'm having a chat with Ras Kilip Apia Levi. Yes. I got it right this time. Yes. Yes. Uh, he is a reggae musician. Uh -huh. Also, the chairman of uh, Greater Accra yeah. Musica. Yeah. He's contesting Musica, I mean, national President president's position. Yeah. And he thinks there are so many things wrong with music guys. So they need to clean the system before they hold the elections. Yes. Um, Bessa Simons was here the last time and told us that the National Election Committee had met or they were going to meet to set a date for elections. He says, no, no? there is a case in court and that it, needs to be dealt with. There are even, so many things. And even that is mm -hmm. not the election committee that sets up dates for elections. Oh, okay. It's the council. The, in collaboration the, with okay, the committee. The national Executive Council, Council in collaboration with the National Executive oh. Committee. Oh. And all those in the National Executive Committee, they are members of the National Executive Council. So it's the council that set. So what should we do now? What should, what should we, we should do, do the writing? Bessa. Bessa. Minya Bessa. Step down. If you don't step down, we will hold you like this. Ah. Because we will not come to sit on a seat which is so dirty. No accountability. You talk about transparency and accountability. There's no transparency. There's no accountability in music. What should it be like that? It's so easy for you to step down with your executives. We, the regional executives, too. We will step down. We have uh, for us to have an interim management committee. We are affiliated with the Ministry of Tourism. They will get somebody from the National Commission on Culture, Creative Arts Council, TUC, to sit down. If all these people come on board, we are not going to have that kind of dilly dally things that is happening. Otherwise, you be caught, sir. And fam, ho. But Ras, you are contesting the presidency. Yeah, I'm patient. What, what I, I know. Yeah. In case you are giving the nod to lead music, uh, yeah. what different thing are you going to do? How differently are you going to, to handle music? Uh? What are you bringing on board? One, I have to strengthen the regional executives. Okay. Getting their own secretariat. We will, build, we will buy lands in all the regions. Okay. Okay. It should have been done a long time when we got money and build the secretariat and build also the, the what do they call it, uh, executive residence. Okay. Because like Greater Accra, some people live in Adan, Akuse and mm -hmm. others. But because they don't live in Accra, they don't, they, 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 can't, they, they cannot contest. So if you are living in Adan, you know, Dodowa or whatever thing, you, once we have the executive residence, you know that when you contest, you have residence. Okay. We need to have our guest house which will also generate money. We also, instead of a yearly renewal, we'll do it three years. Renewal of what? Membership cards. Okay, cards, membership. Cards. Okay. Yes, we'll do it three years. How can the person, a musician, come and renew his card? The following year? The following year. Following year. It's a money-making machine. What do they get? The members have nothing. We they don't at now they don't serve the members. They just use the members to make money to open doors because they will go in the name of the union. They to like for example when uh, we we did Beta Accra, uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, 
awards a marriage night. You were there. Yeah, you were in I, I was the show, I still yeah. owe you. <laughs> don't, don't say it. No, no, no. I've said it. It's between the two of us. Oh, yes. I still owe you. I didn't pay. He did it. He, but he, you know, it's true. He, no, no, you're you, a you, good man. You, pay, you paid something. I did, yeah. but not all. No, but shh, <laughs> don't, don't tell What's them. What's been cut? It's my <laughs> You know? And when we went to uh, Stambik, yeah, who gave us money for the, the edition? Sorry, I'm having a cold. Don't worry. Yeah. And they never heard of Greater Accra. I went there with my executives, uh, my vice Elizabeth Tego, okay. of the Tego Sisters. Yes. Yeah, they don't know about Greater Accra. Because Greater Accra has been hijacked by national. So why do you register your, uh, my members, take their money, and you push them on me and my executives? You don't give them allowances. You don't give them a budget to operate. The moment they, they, they do what, you elect them into office, you need to give them money, seed money to do it. You, you've not spoken about musical office, national office. You don't have. We, we, what we have is not our own. Yes. It's at the mercy of government. How long? So why don't you build one for yourself? Yes. That's why I want to come why to have build. They, why haven't you built an office it for is not all a, this while? This How many not, years? This is not an option for those who led us okay. over the years. Okay. Because government is there. So everything. No. We Mr. need Mr. to Mr. own. Is too look, big a union look, to be patching. Yes, to be patching. Even government, what we have now is tempera. Government has given us a place for us to renovate opposite the ministry. Uh, You've uh, been, police you, have you been... Uh, <laughs> what moved from the the one the marine drive area where oh, uh, you, 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 so you uh, have a new it, place it, now it's flattened so you have a new place now we have a new place the also by government. by government by government the same Ghana house look by government <laughs> from the t I register when I registered with Music Gap, we were at the uh, 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 <laughs> this thing, uh, community center near Bedin Power Hall okay and coming Kuma Memorial okay then when I came back in '89. I saw that they have given us a new office yeah. at uh, Kalkudi Junction. Okay. Then from there to to the Marine Drive. The Marine Drive in 1999, yeah. December. You know. You no, know. But I, I have I have this issue. Yeah. I think I asked this question when Bessa was here. Yeah. You know, Musica. Before you contest for the presidency, yeah, you need to be an executive member of Musica. Yeah. As per the constitution. Yeah. Uh, Who is going to change that? Why can't any member, any musical member who aspires to be president file for nomination? It is it's, it's, why, it's true. Why is it that it's difficult? True. It, it is, it's not cool. Per, 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 per the constitution now, yes. uh, you, before you come for the presidency or the national, you need to serve as regional. Yes. But there are it people... Will, it will never people give us say, the best. Exactly. It must say, be opened to <laughs> yeah so anybody and, and who has the ideas who has the potential to lead these are some of the things that will change when i come give are you me, sure you do that i will do that give power to the people and if you win and you don't do that i will do be it on your neck I, I know i know my words which is in my archives i Great. will remember it all the time Great. you know you won't point your hand on somebody <laughs> you know then when you come then they are pointing fingers on you no I have my manifesto, Great. which I, I type myself. I wrote and typed Great. everything myself. Great. I have printed it like a booklet. A Ras, tell them something. Tell Musica members something before we end this conversation. Good. Tell them something. Musicians Union you know, of Ghana membership nationwide in Ghana and all musicians. Most of you know me. You know how I feel. Over the years, seven at Musica, I have not been paid a salary, a dime, even allowances with my executives. Why? I don't know. I am coming to change it to strengthen the union and also the members. If God don't want me to be your president for the union, he will never allow me to contest. Because I will say financially, those I'm contesting with, the presidency, financially, they may think that they have more than I. But to defend the union, it is God who is doing this. Otherwise, I would not have been to court in 2019 and 2020. 
to cleanse the union. I'm cleansing it, or we are cleansing it because we want you to be comfortable. We want your complaint to stop. And you have to rejoice that, ah, now we feel as members of the union. And one thing is that when we take office, I'll consult with my executives so that when you register, it will take you three years. Ghana passport, how many years do you even renew it? To me, you have been taken as a money machine. And this must stop. When they are doing shows, the union is doing shows. You see, they bring people, so-called big artists. And you, they leave you behind. Grand Ball, Ghana Music Week, my executives, the original executives, they are afraid to even expose them because, I don't know, somebody say, oh, because they have used uh, your position for people to travel. Well, I don't know that. I, have, I don't have evidence in that. I want to come and serve you. Most of you know me. Don't say that, oh, he's a Rasta man. Yes, I, I'm on the vow, which I've kept since 1982, to do the right thing. I'm not here to pay lip service. Most Great. of you know me. It's Great. not lip service. Vote for me, Great. and I'll lead you to paradise. All right, Rascal up, happy at Levi. Papa. I'm very happy you came today. Me too. Thanks Anna. so much. It's been a very interesting, revealing conversation. Mm. Now, subscribe to Ghana Weekend TV. Go straight to ghanaweekend.com. We have very interesting stories in the world of arts, showbiz, culture, entertainment. My name is Kwame Dazi. See you some other time.